Hi, and welcome to another episode of Computer Chronicles. I'm Derek Smith, your host. A lot of people have never heard of Deep Cool, and there's a reason for that. They're just coming out on the market, but that doesn't mean they're a brand new company. They're not. They actually have been around for a long time, but in the industrial side sector, where they cooled servers and also um, box computers that you would buy from the store. When people started building their own, well, they started to market to us, and we're glad they did. Actually, I am really leery of brand new company, and I... Uh, I don't usually like to buy products from a brand new company because I'm really afraid that they might break down sooner or whatever. But this is not the case with Deep Cool. Actually, with Deep Cool, what I like about them is the quality. Now, this is a Chinese company, and I'm talking about really good quality. For example, the bearing that they use that runs the all in one impeller to run the pump is made from ceramic zirconia which is the same product that they make uh, fake diamonds with so the mttf or the medium time of uh, failure on this thing is 120,000 hours now that equates to hmm. anyway the radiator is a 120 by 280 but it's not actually 280 it's like six millimeters uh smaller than that's so a 274 and it's 27 uh, millimeters thick and it uses two 120 type of fans and the fan speeds go from uh 600 to 2200 rpm they're touting a median airflow of 182.24 CFM uh, and pressure of underwater type uh, pressure of 3.71. Um, the fan's medium time uh, to failure is 100,000 hours and the fan noise level is a 17 to 39 at the full load so you're looking at usually around a 22 to 25 for normal uh, operate which is great anyway the pump dimensions it's about the size of a regulator that you would use on going underwater and uh, also the pump speed runs at 2800 rpm the radiator has aluminum fins and uh, it also has uh, mounting holes built in each for easy mounting. Both the 120 uh, millimeter rubber covered fans uh, are PWM fans, which run, which run a little bit different. They're always getting 12 volt, but they're pulsing 12 volts. And so the faster it pulses, the faster the fan spins. And the slower it pulses, the slower the fan spins. And they can get a little bit better fan control that way because they can actually slow it down because they're throwing 12 volts to it all the time so they can actually slow it down to a lower level than what you would do if you would actually just drop the voltage like they usually do and uh, all of these are compatible with just about every socket that's imaginable on there it can go on there so let's open the box the box is very inconspicuous that's one thing that I really like about this company is the professional look of this. Uh, they have the little uh, actor's face, the black and the white there. That's their uh, Deep Cool logo. And they're also their Gamer Storm, which this is the Gamer Storm series. Now, I'm going to open this up if I can. And Okay, so you got a little lip here. You get the lip. Then you put your finger here, and you pull up, and open, and you see the two fans. Now, these deep cool fans, like they said, they're rubber coated, and uh, they are very good for suppressing 
vibration by this way. And this is also rubber here on the sides. So this is also suppresses vibration. Now, there comes with it also all of your mounting hardware, which is for AMD, uh, Intel. Also, there is the uh, fan controller here that uh, I have not hooked this up, so I'm not going to tell you exactly how it works. Um, and then this is, and it's a lot like the all the other all-in-ones out here. Uh, there is an oversized uh, heat plate on the back. Um, it uses, it is a lot like uh, another brand that would come to your mind um, and looks a lot like that. Um, we haven't tested this yet to say it's great or anything else, but like I said, I'm opening it up and I, so far, I have dealt with a lot of the deep cool products right now. And I got to be honest with you, I have been, I've been very impressed by the way uh, the quality is on their products. Their products are really well manufactured and uh, probably need to work a little bit more on their shipping. That is not really a bad thing. It's just part of the learning curve that every company goes through and I think that they're going to, uh, they'll figure that out. But this is the Maelstrom. It's the Maelstrom 240 uh, all-in-one cooler and I do suggest it as being uh, a definitely a, a good uh, cooler for you to buy. They are actually going to be available on Newegg this Friday. So welcome Deep Cool by uh, if you are buying uh, or you're building a new uh, system and you want to uh, try out something new uh, this is definitely something that you want to try out deep cool is a good company trust me they have surprised me a lot in this i want to thank you very much uh, deep cool for sending me these products for me to review and i will be reviewing all of them but i just wanted to let you guys know and let you see the maelstrom 240 um, and we will be seeing it in action in a build that I'll be doing uh, very soon. I want to thank you very much for uh, all of the support from everyone and happy modding and God bless.